Hey guys, welcome back. It's your girl Tally once again. All right. Um, I hope you guys recognize me because I know it's a drastic, drastic change, you know. Um, speaking of that drastic change, I, I do want to say something that, um, you know, that I self-discovered about myself uh, that I think was really, really important uh when it when it comes to regards to like my look and things that i like and it just clicked in me like a couple days ago maybe that um and this could help somebody too who probably like you know you're you're trying to find yourself but i think part of the reason that it it also was very it was very like a deep journey and an intricate journey and it took so long for me to like really connect with who i am is because when i go down like the list of things that i like and things that i dislike there's a lot of things that um i'm like in the middle with or i just like both and it's literally with almost everything in my life can you believe that almost everything in my life i am cut i am down the middle that means i like both sides of it there's things on both sides that i like and i used to kind of think that i used to have to choose between what each and every side like each side and the thing is that i come to realize is i don't have to choose i don't have to choose and you don't have to choose and some people may say oh but you have to be someone you can't be on the fence about some certain things you know that in my like psychology in my opinions you know i'm someone who's for, so far away from the fence like when we come to when we talk about morals and um morals and what is it preferences and you know just all kind of like social economic you know issues things like that when we talk about things like that there i am nowhere near offense i am very direct and i am very um set in my decisions and in my thought patterns away on those certain kind of topics like i do believe like in certain you know just certain like i do believe like when it comes like right and wrong like morally i have like clear very very clear opinions and very very clear perspectives and so i'm just i said all that to say that i'm not someone who's on the fence about about different things but when it comes to me like let's like physical things that you know i'm very on the fence so as so for an example um i like my natural fro you know i was giving you guys natural fro for like you know a few weeks more than a few weeks but then i like to do something different and get like you know and have this like long kind of wig on and look at the color of this wig it's kind of like bold it's like a reddish brown more red than brown like i love that too and i don't i don't feel like i should have to choose between either side also um when it comes to the nails y'all check the nails you believe i already broke one of them you can't see it but I already broke one of them. And these are short nails too. So don't say that, oh, it's only the long nails. No, I broke one of these. But um, yeah, when it comes to the nails, I love these nails. So when you see me with my long, colorful, bedazzled, ghetto, ghetto nails, I should start calling them, stop calling them ghetto, but I know people call them ghetto. But when you see me with those nails, I completely love those nails. Can't nobody tell me anything about those nails, right? But look, I love these nails too. Look at these short French pink and white. If you knew me long enough, I used to just get pink and white. And I spent, I think I spent like years in a row just doing pink and white. Why? Because I like pink and white. But I also like long ghetto nails. I'm someone who likes sneakers. I love, I, I love sneakers. Love, love, love sneakers. I buy sneakers like a lot <laughs> okay i have a lot of sneakers and i'm always buying sneakers but i also love heels and i'm and i like heels so usually you see a girl who's like maybe on the like tomboy side but not but not always tomboy but she's like more on like the swaggy kind of tip and she wears she rocks sneakers all the time or you see a girl who's like you know more like the dress and the heels type of girl i am both of those girls i am both of those girls and it's like this world kind of wants you to choose between um 
who you who like it wants to put everybody in the box basically and choose between um which who you are so basically by by your appearance how you present yourself that's who you are and um there's a lot of truth to that and there's a lot of um perceptions and judgments that i i'm not going to be able to change like no one's going to be able to change so you do have to dress according to what whatever opportunity i guess that you're trying to unlock for yourself i do believe in that but i'm just saying like just different qualities different attributes of me like it's cut down the middle and i've grown to just accept it like not grown to because um i guess i just i just realized it a couple of days ago and i'm i'm just accepting it now so I think that's just a beautiful thing. You know, even with this makeup, like there's, I have, I've went years without wearing makeup, like not having makeup in my bathroom to put on my face and go years without, not years, but like a whole year without wearing it or just wearing it a few times in a year. And that's just the case. And then sometimes I'm wearing makeup all the time. So that would give the, someone the perception that I wear makeup all the time, right? But I really, really don't. So I think that's good too. And then just a side note right there. Um, I guess I guess when I'm in my full look like this, this full face, you know, hair look, you know, people assume that I guess like I'm someone who I'm like, you know, this made up girl who can't go natural, who can't do anything natural. I think it's just so funny. I think it's just so funny because I'm like, if these people really knew like who I am, like, I'm I'm definitely rocking my natural hair most of the time in life. And I'm definitely rocking fresh face most of the time. So if I decide to put it on, if I decide to put it on, I'm just doing something. I'm just doing, I'm just doing something right there. But it ain't all like you feel me? And then I feel like people get threatened by it. They feel some type of way about it. Cause I see like and I feel like it's low-key hating too. I'm not going to lie. I feel like it's low-key hating because I've been in several situations where, you know, I'm doing my face, I'm doing all of this. And girls, some some girls who either don't wear makeup or girls who who don't, like, they do the littlest with the makeup. They don't do too much with the makeup. They always feel the need to... to um, to to say it to declare out loud oh i don't i don't do makeup like that or those who do it but they don't do too much they be like oh i don't do too much with the makeup i can't spend too much time in the mirror girl be quiet why because you see uh and it's not only with me but why because you see a, a nice girl who could beat her face or she gets her face beat why is that the time that you choose to want to declare to everybody and you feel me that oh i don't do too much with makeup girl good for you if you don't do too much with the makeup that's on you girl that's cool that's cool nobody's checking for it like you feel me what's for you is going to be for you <laughs> what's for you is going to be for you and what's for us or me is going to be for me so i feel like you know y'all gotta chill with that because a lot of times i guess people feel like the people who wear makeup or a lot of makeup they're insecure but i guess there's there's a a a lane in it that makes other people feel insecure because you be, people always feel the need to mention around people who do their makeup and do you know they do their makeup very well they always feel the need to mention how oh i don't be doing too much girl keep that for you it it, it actually looks like you don't be doing too much okay it's, you could probably do a little more no i'm just playing i'm just playing i'm all for the subtle makeup looks even i i struggle to do a subtle makeup look i'm not gonna lie because as soon as i do these eyebrows i want everything crisp and proper but um and i'm trying to get even better with the makeup i'm trying to take my makeup to to the next level you feel me but i i do want to get into some subtle looks sometimes some like maybe 30 minute looks but i am more of a i put it on you feel me when i put on the makeup i put it on why because when i don't wear makeup i'm fresh face and i'm doing my thing so if i'm gonna put it on i'm gonna actually put it on okay i know a lot of people who do the subtle thing they wear makeup every day i don't wear makeup every day uh it's not important to me to wear makeup every day. It's not important to me to have a to have my um hair like a wig on every day. None of that's important to me. I, I literally walk through this world fro, 4C fro, 
bare face doing my thing it doesn't matter to me so i'm not one of those girls that you could probably try and be like oh you always you you can't be natural because you're insecure no baby this is not the one sorry but as i said like i appreciate the fact that i can go from one extreme to another like my last video i'm you know my fro was looking a little crazy I was looking at the video, I was like, my fro is looking a little bit crazy. But you know what? I accepted it because you know what it for me, what it is for me is it's about the message. So there's certain videos I look at and I'm like, oh my God, I'm looking crazy. I don't even want to post this. But because the message was so pure and the message was such a good message that I felt like other people needed to hear, I just let I just let the video slide and I just posted the video. And you're gonna see that, you're gonna see that, but it is what it is because the message is more important for me. For me, that is, you know? The message is more important. Everything else, like when we talk about aesthetics and, and all that other good stuff that people usually do to um, make their video look good, I guess. Those things are important me, to me too, but I also feel like in a way that's gonna come in due time. You feel me? That's gonna come in due time. I'm just building it up for right now. And um, my major focus right now is just stay consistent. <laughs> that's my major focus. And to become, to become consistent, that's a major win in itself, you know, because many people start and they don't finish. And, you know, I just been blessed. I feel like I've been blessed with the strength and the consistency and the focus in my life at this point to continue to do what I'm doing here. So I'm just blessed. I feel so blessed. But yes guys um i guess this video is mainly just to encourage somebody who is like thinking like there's something wrong with them if they like both you know like if they like both like different type of styles with your hair different kind of styles of the way you dress you know i like them both i'm calling it down the middle because both of them i like and i don't feel like i have to choose between who i am like e either way people are gonna judge you Either way, people are not going to like you. That's what we, that's what I was going to say. That's how we, that's what we have to understand. But that's something that I'm still understanding. Like no matter what you do, there are going to be people that don't like you. And there's nothing you can do to change it. Really, if you like, think about it. If you had to do some type of act, some kind of actions for someone to like you aren't you imprisoning yourself to always be somebody or always be the person to them that are is kind of like looking for approval or want to buy their opinion and buy their their um their like of you you know like you don't want to do that it locks your you're getting locked up you you put you hold yourself in a prison and most likely if you're going to do that with one person you're going to be able to you're going to begin to do it with other people and then now your whole life is just a prison of trying to get people to like you so what i'm saying here is people are not going to like you no matter what you do so you better go out there and be you okay because again something that i realized lately because if you get rejected or someone doesn't like you for so for for who you were trying to be come on now if you get rejected and someone doesn't uh, like you or appreciate you for something that you were trying to be it's not even who you are it's something that you were trying to be that is the worst that is the worst and it's gonna take you it's gonna take you longer to find if it if it bothers you. It's gonna take you longer to find some console about that to console yourself about that because in the beginning you're doing something that you don't even connect with. You don't even agree with. You're just doing this because you feel like this is the way to to buy other people's approval. So that's gonna send you into a whole different level of of being distraught about it until you arrive at the fact that you just gotta be yourself and let the let the what are, let the things fall where they may what what do they say let it fall where they may let the stones or something fall where they may you know whatever falls where they may just let everything happen the way it's supposed to happen period now if you get rejected or people don't appreciate you for who your authentic self for who you are trying to be that's the best thing that is the best thing ever you know why because 
fine. That person genuinely, genuinely doesn't like me. But at least I didn't have to pretend to be anybody else. At least I was able to stay true and honest to who I am. So if they don't like the true and honest person that I'm being, the real person I'm being, then these people or this person is just not for me. And a lot of times when we say, oh, someone's not for me, we it's associated with like a negative connotation, like they're bad people because they're not for you. And that's not true. We have to take that negative connotation off of that for real, for real, because just because someone doesn't like you, doesn't get along with you, or you feel like you're not connecting with that person or they're not connecting with you, just because that is the case does not at all mean that they are bad people. It doesn't mean that you are a bad person either, but it doesn't mean that they are bad people. They are bad people or a bad person either. It's just that we are meant, every one of us in life, we're on some kind of journey. We we live our own life. We all grew up a certain way. We all are affected by different things. We all have different perspectives. We all have a different set of morals, different set of different lifestyles that we live leave that just like encodes you know something into us that that make up our character that make up our personality so with so many differences it's normal to not be able to click with everybody and i know what you're gonna say there's people out there who click with everybody good for them because they have like a certain set of a certain set of personality traits and and character that clicks with everybody but and and that's a great thing but you know, if you're if you're that person, great. But if you're not that person, you still have to accept who you are and be your authentic self. There's many times that I wanted to be the person who's liked by everybody. And look at me. Even what I do here on YouTube, the 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 truth that I tell, the things that I talk about, the topics and everything, these are these are many of the times very sensitive topics. So a lot of people are going to disagree. A lot of people are not going to, um, are going to take my opinions or whatever I have to say, be, get offended by it. You feel me? So that should just let you know, just the mind that I have, the way my mind works, it's not a mind that's gonna, um, that's, that's meant to agree with everybody. You know, like there's, there's a lot of people that end up agreeing with me. I'll give, I'll give them that. There's a lot of people who see where I come from. I give them that. And I also appreciate, this is the people I appreciate. Two kind of people I appreciate. I appreciate people who um, don't understand me, but they seek understanding and then they understand. And I appreciate people who outright disagree and they're not afraid to speak up. So that's, that's cool. But mostly I appreciate that people who, you know, they support me, of course, and they, even if they don't understand, they seek to understand because I just learned that again last week from my brother. Like life is a big learning experience of so many opportunities to learn. And literally that's where these videos come from. I learn something and I teach it. You feel me? And there's nothing wrong with that. You feel me? If you, if your eyes get awoke, awakened to different things, there's no problem with enlightening other people. And best believe I do apply this to my life. And if I end up learning more about it and it goes deeper, I'll make another video. It's all good. Okay? But what it is is that something so important that my brother opened my eye, my eyes to. He said, even your true friends are people who, even if they don't agree with you and they think you did something wrong, those are the people who are going to even, they're going to seek to understand you. They're going to, they want to hear you. They want to hear you to, to see your side of it. I probably should do a whole nother video about that, but they're going to want to hear your side of it. And he was talking about how, you know, something went down and, um, a lot of people were against him at the time. And then he said he pulled up on a friend and he even begun to try to explain himself. And when he begun to try to explain himself, his friend was like, nah, come on. I don't even need to hear you explain yourself. I know you didn't do that. And I'm not going to lie. That made me tear up at that moment. At that moment, I was like, because I'm like that level of friendship and acceptance, it's not easily found. And for me, I feel like that is so important. Those are very important qualities for me. So yeah, I'll put a pin in it right there. But what we were talking about is being your authentic self and people who are going to accept you are going to accept you. People who are going to be your friends are going to be your friends. Seek understanding from you. 
um but other people they don't have to and that doesn't make them a bad person that just means they're not for you so many times we need to understand who's for us and who's not for us and be able to part ways with people who are not for us because i have so much experience with staying in staying in relationships places and, and, and with people you know and when i say relationships i mean friendships uh you feel me just different different environments different environments where associates you know i just have experienced being being in those places where i'm not accepted or people don't understand me or people find any reason to dislike me um and of course this happens when this happens this is gonna happen either way it happens more when you don't know yourself and of course i feel like this happens even more because like i said i'm someone who likes both extremes or both sides of the spectrum on a lot of things besides like character morals stuff like that opinions about social issues stuff like that those things i'm very firm and direct and spot on other things when it comes to like my look things that I like, you know, physical things. And and the physical does matter. The physical does matter because this is what people are going to judge you on. So they put you in a certain box depending on how you look, period. But what, what was we talking about? I'm sorry. What are we going to talk about? Um... Okay, people, you have to, you have to be, okay, yeah, we're saying how I have experienced staying in places where I'm not accepted, I don't feel like I belong, and I feel like over the time I'm staying in those places and I'm continuously looking for approval that they, they, them, or he, she is not giving me, and to be honest, my mom said it best, she said, I feel like you're punishing yourself. It, my mom said, I feel like you're punishing yourself. And she said it best right there. Because you know what? It feels like a punishment. When you stay, when you don't understand yourself, you're struggling to be yourself. Or you're still in that place where you're looking from appro for approval from other people. It is a struggle. It is a real deal struggle. And you real deal feel like you're punishing yourself. And I had to realize, like, what did I do so wrong in my life? Because when you're in those situations, you always feel like there's something wrong with you. Like, it's not it's not them. It's you. You're always, you know, getting down on yourself. You're always, even though you may get mad at them, at the end of the day, you always internalize it and put it right back on you. And um, the the con the bottom line is the bottom line that you create in your head is that there's something wrong with you you know so you grow to you grow like with a fracture it's like a fracture to your self-esteem and you're always looking for approval you feel like you're less than you feel like you know you don't deserve something you don't deserve true acceptance true love true people trying to understand you so when you when it's like that you it just feels like a punishment and i had to ask myself what did i do so wrong that i feel like i have to be punished in this way because i'm some i'm the type of person that if someone wrongs me i forgive them i i usually most usually most of the time many majority of the time okay because uh, i can't be like every time you feel me but but every but eventually i still let it go eventually eventually it may take me there's very few things, very few, 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 few things in life that takes me more than a couple days to get over, okay? But those few things, those are kind of deep. Those those things usually are kind of deep and it just needs some extra work. But I I intend, I always intend on letting things go because I do not like carrying nothing with me. But what we're talking about, I'm like, I so what I'm saying is I forgive people when they wrong me. Um, even if someone's mean to me, I, I give them grace. I give them mercy. Um, and I'm, I'm relatively a good person to people. So what did I do that makes, that I feel like I don't deserve the same, um, consideration in return? Like I, do I not deserve grace and mercy? Even if I do do something wrong to someone, don't I deserve to be forgiven? Um, I apologize to people when I'm wrong about something. So don't I deserve someone to apologize to me? Like it's, it's a, it's a whole vicious cycle, to be honest. It's a whole vicious cycle of that until you finally realize, listen, I am who I am. 
Um, the same grace, love, and mercy that I give out and that God gives to me, I deserve it in return. I'm not greater than anybody, but I'm not less than anybody. So I deserve to be around people and friends and have very... Um, and people friends and have very fulfilling relationships with them like i deserve that and i'm not gonna stay anywhere where i don't feel like i'm getting that i'm not gonna stay anywhere that i feel like it's a rat race or i'm on a treadmill trying to seek validation or acceptance or approval from nobody and i've done that for a long time and i'm telling you it's not worth it try as hard as you can to to rip yourself don't don't just gradually move no rip it out tear it off tear that tear tear that off tear rip try your hardest to rip yourself off that path don't okay get violent i promise you get violent with that feeling of approval or any of your those relationships and I'm, when i say get violent i mean like get violent with your with within yourself and when i say that i mean like do whatever you need to do to sever ties to cut ties with that relationship i don't mean like go off on them or try to fight them no don't do none of that because really in reality it was you allowing yourself to be in, in that situation and you giving off that energy so just take responsibility for that and make sure from here moving forward that it's no longer like that if you could save the relationship with the change that you're gonna make like you're you're stepping into who you are and you're gonna authentically be who you are and that may offend some people people may not like the i was gonna say people may not like the new you but it's new to them but people really don't like the real you so if you're gonna do that if you if you're gonna do that and you could still save save the relationship that's cool but it but i guarantee you there's gonna be some relationships that can't be saved when you really step into who you are and that has to be okay with you as well you know because it's it's a sad existence to live in this world trying to be something you're not trying to get people to like you because they're not gonna like you no matter what you do even those people that you search for approval for they're not gonna like they're not gonna like you. The, the if you do things to try to make them like you, um, it's gonna work out for a little bit. You feel me? It's gonna be you're gonna have good times, and then it's gonna go like back to bad times. Like it's, it's gonna be a roller coaster, a very unstable relationship, and that's not going to be fulfilling at all. At all, be your authentic self no matter the cost because if you receive opposition pushback adversity for being your authentic self then your then your authentic self is going to get you through that and also i just want to add this last thing in there it's not to say that we all don't need some personal development because i'd be the first to admit baby that i do need some development in my social my social cues and my the you know like I'm a very direct, honest person. And if I'm angry about something, you're gonna know. So in that area, I could quickly realize that I could offend people quickly. I could offend people quickly. People could, uh, I could rub people the wrong way. I've been told that, like I rub people, I could rub people the wrong way. So I do see people a little bit like kind of standoffish when they come to me, when it comes to me, if we're in a group. And you know, maybe, of course there's something that I could tweak in my, in my personality is definitely my personality that could be more um inviting and more warm when it comes to other people and i'm all for that you feel me so i'm working on it i'm working on it i'm really working on a few things first but personality is definitely right behind there i have no problem and you shouldn't have any issues you know um i always use myself an example but i'm talking to y'all you feel me but you should have no issues trying to find growth in whatever area that you can grow in there should be no issues to grow like there's no issue for me to grow i'm a human being i'm imperfect that means there's gonna always be room for for better there's always gonna be room for growth there's always gonna be that next level and that's okay that's okay that's okay but as long as you accept yourself for who you are now and you don't give them anything that you're not you good so stay in the fight stay in the journey i see y'all later and to be honest this video was about to be completely it was about it was supposed to be completely about another topic but this is what came out when i started speaking so i just let it flow and so i'll make another video about the next thing i'm gonna make see you guys in the next video love you